Welcome back to Pete Rogers Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a beaver tail into fish bait. We'd like to use as much of the animal as we can and I discovered this uh, a little while ago. And so we're going to take this beaver tail, turn it down where you can see it really well right there. If I can get it to stay. So we got this beaver tail right here that uh, from a beaver we caught. And I'm gonna skin it first. I'm gonna show you how I do that. And then we're going to uh, turn it into fish bait for both panfish and catfish. It's mostly fat and grease and stuff. So it's a really, really good fish bait. You see, that's a really nice beaver tail. It's probably a foot long and I don't know, six inches wide. So we get a lot of good bait out of this. So I like to wear gloves. So I'm gonna put my gloves on here. And uh, I'm gonna turn this into fish bait. <clears throat> Using my Havilon knife here. I, I like these disposable blade knives for this kind of stuff because it's they're they're just so sharp. It's hard to hard to beat them. So what I'll do is I'll actually just split the beaver tail down the side. Doesn't have to be exact. It just makes skinning it a lot easier. You don't even have to go the whole way. Just get it good. Just get it started really well. You can turn it so you can see it here. It's pretty thin down there. Then <clears throat> I'll, I'll peel it back a little bit from where I, where I split it. Do that on both sides. There is a market for beaver leather, by the way, if you're interested. <clears throat> I've never really pursued it. But, uh, you know, if you're interested in it, there's a market for the, the leather on these tails. They make wallets and stuff like that out of it. What I've found the easiest thing to do is take two pair of ice grips. Right, and I'll take one and uh, adjust it here I'll take one and and grab the bone and the other one and grab the skin get a better bite on it much better bite Swap them. I like to get a pair of ice grips. Get a good bite on it. So I got a pair of bias grips, one on the bone, one on the skin, and just start pulling. See, once it starts, it comes off pretty good. It's 
not super easy. It's pretty tough, but hey, it works. As you can see, once you peel peel it off, you got the main part of the beaver tail here. Once you peel it off, you basically got this one here is no good. It's it's completely it's just skin. If you want to save that, that's a good piece to save. This piece here has a lot of the a lot of the fat on it. We're going to turn into fish bait. And then you got the main part of the tail, which is the bone and a little bit of muscle. So I, I basically take two, two little cans, one for catfish, one for panfish, All right? So I'll go ahead and do this, this big piece, which is what I'll use for catfish. And you basically just find the bone and just fillet it off the bone. There'll be a lot of sinew in here, a lot of tendons, a lot of uh, some meat, but mostly it's fat. Now I have no idea why beavers carry fat in their tail, but they do. You can feel the the bone in there, so I'm just kind of filleting it off the bone. struggling a little bit. It's such a weird shaped bone in this tail. I'm trying to make sure I don't leave any any meat on there. There we go. So you get something like that. Make sure you can see it. Yeah, you get something like that. Wrong way. I'm going to do the other side. You see that? That's what we want to get right there. Okay. We're going to come back and we're going to trim this off a little more in a minute. But for my catfish bait, see that's a nice chunk of grease and fat and stuff right there. So I'll just cut it into chunks like this. Down to that one. And this one here, I may even cut it again. See, this one too. And this one. Can always put more than one on your hook. See, that's some nice. Leave that one. I got my container here. It says catfish. Just I put them in here, and uh, then I'll freeze it. And when I'm ready to go catfishing, I get some more. Do the same thing on this one.
right? So you can pack it in there. I have to go get another container. This is just two beaver tails. Did one yesterday. Got this one today. That one's full, full, full. That's, that's a lot of good catfish bait there. Now for the for the pan fish, you basically do the same thing. Let me show you and bring this over here. I'm just gonna fillet this off. And the um, it it resembles a wax worm or a mealworm to the panfish, but it's a lot more durable. It stays on the hook a lot better, and you can catch many fish off the same bait. Oftentimes, all right, that tail's about done. You can get a little bit. You can get a little bit more right there. So I just, since I'm trying to basically mimic a mealworm or a waxworm, I just cut them into strips about the size of those. If you can see that, see? And then, you know, I'll leave some long, but most of them I keep about three quarters of an inch to an inch. And uh, when I'm fishing for panfish, Usually here in the south, it's bluegill and shellcracker, also known as red ear sunfish. You know, I'll just thread it on a number 10, or sometimes a number 12 long shank hook and just thread it on there just like you would an earthworm or a mealworm. And you have excellent, excellent panfish bait. Right here again, just Gonna be a hot one today. I'm already sweating. It's just 7:30 in the morning. All right. So you get the point of that. So now we have all this, all this fat on this part of the tail here. All right. So I'm just gonna fillet it off. All you gotta do is take your your knife, your Haviland, outdoor, whatever you have and just fillet it off. This is really some of the best bait. A lot of good bait right there. I don't worry about that. That actually just helps to stay on the hook a little bit better. All right, I can fillet it off again if I want to. Just take it. And when I get this, this is actually my favorite part of the bait. Again, I just cut it in narrow strips. Cut them into little bite-sized nuggets that I think a, a panfish, a brim, or a, a shell cracker, or whatever, will want to eat. You know, and there's no, it's not rocket science. There's no exact thing. If you, if you want your bait bigger, cut it bigger. You know, see this one here to me is a little bit too big, so I'm gonna split it in half, long ways. And I get two pieces out of that. Again, if I'm fishing for crappie or something, then I can 
I can always double up the bait on the hook or if I want to target something else so here I'm taking what uh, what many people would throw away on the beaver tail and turning it into fish bait If you think a piece is too big, just cut it again. And that's pretty much all it is to it. Then I take my little container that says brim. All right, and this is from one beaver yesterday. And I'll just pack it in here. And I'm telling you what, that is a lot of fish bait. That is a lot of fish bait. That's enough fish for several, uh, several outings. Oops, don't want to leave this piece. Again, you just fish it just like you would an earthworm, a mealworm, or a um, waxworm. Just thread it on a number 10, number 12 hook, and put it under a bobber, and there you go. Just turn that beaver tail into two cans of cat, one, one catfish bait, one of panfish bait, a brim, shell cracker, whatever you want to use. There's a little bit more meat on here that I could, I could fight for if I wanted to, but uh, I got a lot right here, so I'm good to go. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's how I turn a beaver tail into fish bait. Thank you for watching.